and how the undertakers couldn't get the coffin down the stairs. They couldn't turn it. So Mrs. Scragg was stuck in the coffin on the top of the stairs. So what they had to do was they had to open the window at the top of the stairs and put planks, put planks outside the window across to the road in order to get Mrs. Scragg's body in the coffin sliding down the planks onto the road. So that's how Mrs. Scragg took her final journal, journey. And I, th I think that's a cute, a cute story. And then one, one on the corner, the next corner was oh, oh, Mrs. Um, I think her name was Nesta Roberts's mother. Um, Nesta Roberts on the corner. And then opposite the corner was um, the Men's Jubilee Club or something like that. Um, it was a, mili a, a military, um, what was it called? Oh, I'm a, um, oh, it was a British Legion. Could it have been a British Legion? Well, it was a British Legion. And I think the Cenotaph was there. And then when people's names were on the Cenotaph, the people who had died in World War. Was it World War One or World War Two? I don't know. Um, and then, of course, on the left, Kitty Corner to the um, British Legion was the pictures. The pictures was a place where we saw pictures, movies on a Friday night. But when I came, I, I know it was a penny or threepence to go to the pictures. But when it came my turn to go to the pictures from 17 outside, my mother didn't have any money. I, I think it cost a penny to go to the pictures. She didn't have a penny. She was so poor. Um, and as I've said before, she mentioned her reduced circumstances. So Mrs. Loring thought Mama had a lot of children and that she could just give Joyce to her. So Mr. and Mrs. Loring used to pick up Joyce on a Saturday, and they took her in their car to Thandit No, and they used to take her to the poshest little restaurant, it was called Sumner's, and they used to, they used to treat Joyce to tea, and there must have been afternoon tea where you had tiny sandwiches and a piece of cake, Victoria sponge and tea 
and that was Mr. and Mrs. Loring. And then above Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Loring was Mrs. Macpherson. Mr. Macpherson was the manager of the powerhouse, which generated electricity from the dam disaster. It had rained. Okay, Mum, we'll take a break. Well, I'll take a break. Yeah. Good.